So, can you um, explain the reasoning that went into uh, Dave and Jeremy? I know they'll all, you know, sitting on the airplane and stuff, but what was the, the science behind it? Or, Oh, I don't do science, man. I'm talking, <laughs> well, to, you're talking, you're talking to the wrong person, man. <laughs> science. Um, I'm a basketball coach, man. No, I just felt like, um, for one, it was, I mean, it was a strenuous situation um, as far as the travel. Um, I know how I felt um, as far as rest and stuff. I just felt crazy. I mean, all the shit that we have been through to get to that point and, uh, with Dame, I kind of felt like uh, I know how it always felt like going to All Star, being an All Star. I was I never you you never get rest at All Star. Just don't, it never happens. Um, and then coming into this situation, you know, where we definitely got no rest that night, you know, um, and I just felt like it was probably a good opportunity um, to get him a little bit of rest, you know, to be honest with you, and. With Jeremy, um, it was very kind of similar, you know. And even though I know he was done and passed the, the concussion protocol and everything, I just said, "Hey, man, you know, coming off of that, there's a lot of stress and anxiety involved in what the hell we went through." Um, and most people don't even know that because they're not here, you know. Um, they just thinking, "Oh, they got however many inches of snow." Well, if you from Denver, or you from one of these, that's just normal. That's like, oh, well, what's the big deal? This was different, as y'all all know. So um, I just felt like with all of that being involved and all things going on, let's let's man, we just we just get him some rest too. Yeah. Safe to assume they're both going to be good to go tomorrow. Yeah. How yeah. about the other guys? Nurk, Justice. Um, Nurk is still the same, um, but he's starting to get on the court a little bit, which is very positive. Justice um, still. Still not playing yet, but I feel like he's still advancing as well. And and you know, and moving moving around a little better too. So just to be clear on the uh, game and, and Jeremy thing, was it your call or was it, it was my call? It's your call. Yeah. Okay. And it looked like didn't really have anything on his ankles. Usually when someone has something that you know that looked at least as bad as it looked at the time they would like have some sort of wrap on their ankles or some tape or something. It looked like he was just kind of out there doing stuff. So that's, I would take that as a good sign that things are going along well with him. Yeah, I think Anna's is doing well. I really do. Um, starting to get on the court, do some shooting. Moving a little bit, not a lot at all, but to me that's a great sign, you know, to have him uh, completely mobile, moving around, no limp, no nothing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's positive. I don't know how to ask this without it sounding completely stupid to a person like you, but can you explain why it's important for you guys to go for the playoffs? Why it's important for us to go for the playoffs? Yeah. Well, and, and not try to improve lottery odds like last year. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I think for us, you know, we're trying to, we're in a different situation to me. We were last year. I think it's important for us to just continue to try to build winning habits. Um, we got Dame, he's completely healthy, we're having an incredible season. We got Jeremy, you know, um, healthy and ready to go. Like I don't, I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't, you know, just try to win as many games as you can. In my opinion, you know, um, and just try to continue to keep good positivity going in my in my eyes, you know. What we did last year, obviously we got a great young player out of it in Shaden. But that shit wasn't easy, man. It wasn't easy, you know, especially for a first time coach. Um, coming in games, hoping I can keep it within 30. That shit it wasn't easy, you know, so I never want to do that again. What has been your, I know that you and Joe collab a lot, but what, what has been the directive from him as far as, because you do have some kind of reclamation projects, and some development type things. What has been his directive to you? Well, Joe and I are on the same page about everything, you know, and I'll let you ask Joe any question that you need from Joe. Uh -huh. But for me, um, we're on the same page with everything. We see the team, 
the way the team literally is. We're honest about who we are and who we aren't. You know, um, we don't pull no punches with one another. Um, we know what we need to do to get better here. We're on the same page with that. Uh, we're on the same page with everything. You know, we're not delusional in any way. Um, we don't think we have something that we don't. We don't. We we're we're yeah. we know we 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 know where we're at. You know, um, and I can respect and appreciate that. I guess what I'm getting at is like, isn't that kind of a fine line for you as a coach because you're trying to win, but you're also trying to get a look at not only youngsters but mm -hmm. guys who are get this quiet. Sure, and and for me as a coach. Um, it's in my best interest, too, to see how good or how important our, the guys that we require are right, for us. Um, for sure for now, but moving forward as well. You know, um, It's really important for me to see those things, and I can only play what we have. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't... Trust you right now. I can't go out and play. I, I got what I got, and I'm going to try to make the best of it. Um, every single time, you know, so I don't have another option, <laughs> you know. Do you see Chiefs as more of a two or a three? More of a three, I think. I think he's more of a three, but um, I just see him as a player that you can put every small, you can have him at some four sometimes. Um, this league plays a lot of small, small lineups, man, so I think you can put him in a lot of different spots. Same with Cam. I think yeah. Cam can play some two, some three, some lineups. He's at four, you know. I think both of those guys are very versatile. How do you feel about where Nas is at right now? Obviously, since the trade, you haven't really started him until the other night when you had you know, guys out, and then he had a career night the other night. You said a couple yeah. weeks ago that you know he needed to be more consistent on the defensive end in order to get more minutes. How do you feel like he's kind of come along in the last couple weeks? Yeah, I think he's. I think Nas is doing okay. I think he's doing okay. Obviously, offensively, he was incredible the other night. Um, but he's coming along. He's coming along nicely. It's tough for me to really evaluate everybody um, without having our whole crew, you know, um, or at least most of the main guys. But I think with Nas, he's he's doing good. Um, he's coming around. He's very confident in this shot right now. I think when Nas is playing at his best. He got the best energy on the floor. He's getting two or three offensive rebounds. He's getting deflections. He's getting a steal here or there, and he's being like a nuisance. And um, my thing with Nas is I want him to always, that should never change whether you're making shots or not. That's, that has to be who Nas is. You make shots, that's just extra. Um, because he's a, he's a hell of a shooter. So, um, I think he's in a good spot. I think he's playing very well. I think he's playing very confident. Johnson, the last 23 games, you had a finite amount of time to, to evaluate guys like Cam, like Kevin, like Tees. What do you look for? Or what are you kind of pecking order wise looking to evaluate those guys for for the now and going forward? I think I just you just look at just you know the type of impact that they're making. You know. Um, you have certain things that you're trying to I meet with both of them on certain things that I want, expect, see that they could possibly do. Um, and some of those things that they already do and some of those things I'm challenging them and saying I want to see if you can get to here. So for me, um, I just stay on that path and I evaluate them and just kind of see throughout this, 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 this 23 games, you know, just to try to see how that's coming. Can they do that? You know, um, with Cam, you know, one of the biggest things is him getting back in shape. You know, um, we're seeing him do some of these things right now and he's still not really in shape. So, um, you know, due to the circumstances of him being out of the rotation, it's tough for him, but he's, he's already getting in better shape. And I think you're seeing some of the potential that he has. And with Tease, I think you know, if you can have Nurk out there and Jeremy out there and Cam or, and Ant or Dame or whoever, like, if you can have, start to have guys justice and have, like, veteran guys out there, I think he looks even better, you know, playing with guys like that. So we just haven't had the luxury to see that yet, you know. Um, 
So I'm looking forward to all of these games so I can just start to see those things. John, so how are you holding up? In terms of... Well, I've covered this team a long time. Yeah. And what has happened in the last year and a half is some pretty unprecedented shit. <laughs> and it is. You're a new coach. And how are you? How are you holding up? I'm holding up nice, man. Um, I did. I thought last year was crazy, man. I had so many coaches uh, that are in the league or either even past coaches come to me saying, bro. I coached 15, 17, 18. I didn't, I didn't go through that once, you know. So for me, it was kind of funny because me not having no expectations, it, 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 it was just kind of like, okay, well, this just is what it is. It's not like I was coaching before, and then this happened, and it's like, oh, like this was kind of my, this was just, this just what is what it was. So um, last year was tough, you know, going through that. You know, which is why I answered your first question saying, I don't ever want to go through that. You know, it was rough. Um, this year, you know, we've, we've been through a lot as well, but it's kind of become more of a normal situation this year. And I'm holding up fine, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm great. I feel good. My energy's up. I, I love I love my job. I love who I'm working with and for. It's great. Because I think if there's Last one, one, guys. One, Last, last again. There's been one constant, I think, through all my years. Like, I've seen every coach, like, eventually, like, wear it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, mm -hmm. it, like mm -hmm. losses are hurt. And, mm -hmm. they, I haven't seen that with you. You know what? You know what's funny about that? Um, and I really think it's probably helped my playing years, but I've gotten to a point and losses, they, they impact you. There's no question about it. They impact you. But I've gotten to a point where I feel, I've felt this though, as long as I prepare my guys, you know, um, and I try to manage the game, and I try to like, put some good positions. There's so many things that are out of my control in a game. It's one of the biggest things from playing and coaching that I've found is that there's so much I can't control. Yeah. And I found peace in like understanding that there's some games that you feel like you got in the bag that don't happen. I felt like my I, I did the best to prepare my guys for the situation. We just didn't handle it well, which too falls back on me. Um, but I found peace in understanding like just do the best that you can, prepare your guys the best way you can. The results, sometimes I can't control. That's like playing too, though. It is, no, you, it is. You, but but the biggest difference is playing as a point guard. I can actually right. go control Influence. the game. Yeah, I can make sure the ball gets where it right. has to get to. As a coach, yeah. I can yeah. talk about it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah.